Armstrong Fluid Technology created this video to demonstrate the ease of repairing or upgrading 2 through 5 series S and H three-piece circulators. Ease of repair and upgrade makes Armstrong's innovative design your best choice for servicing three-piece circulators. Maintenance-free shaft module design eliminates annual maintenance cost for periodic oiling. No oil completely eliminates the risk of spilling oil on the floor and eliminates the need to handle oil. As in our previous models and our competitors offering, the seal bearing assembly is not fully OSHA compliant. As you can see though, the new Armstrong seal bearing assembly is in fact OSHA compliant, designed to eliminate the risk of personal injury. To order the right seal bearing assembly, confirm the model number of the circulator you are servicing, and then refer to the convenient application guide. Remember that Armstrong seal bearing assemblies are compatible with B&G three-piece circulators as well as Armstrong branded circulators. You can upgrade installed three-piece circulators to the latest technology just by using Armstrong maintenance-free seal bearing assemblies. Your local Armstrong stocking wholesaler will also be able to assist you in selecting the right parts for the job. We're going to disassemble an Armstrong series S35 circulator. We need a half inch wrench, we need a 5 8 inch wrench, a 1 8 inch hex key, and you may or may not need a screwdriver of some description to get to the junction box to disconnect the power. Before you begin any service, a word about safety. Piping systems are pressurized and the fluids inside may be hot. Some water will come out of the system when you disassemble the pump. Remember to disconnect power before beginning any service work on a circulator. Isolate the circulator from pressure in the system by closing off isolation valves in the piping. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and I will start by removing the motor bracket from the back end of the seal bearing assembly. point, I like to take bolts and put them in a bowl or tray or something so that they don't get lost. Invariably, you'll put these on top of a pipe or a boiler and you'll lose them. Once the final bolt is removed, the motor is free from the back end of the bearing assembly and the rest of the pump. What you see now is a spring coupler. That spring coupler connects the motor in a flexible way to the impeller through the seal bearing assembly. What I'm gonna go ahead and do right now is take my 1 8 inch hex key and loosen this coupler so that I can remove it completely from the motor. And we'll set this aside for later. It's just one of those handy things that Armstrong does. This is a Series 3 bearing assembly, and I can visually know that to be true because I see three hash marks here. If this were a Series 2, there'd be two hash marks. A Series 4, there'd be four hash marks. But just a moment here. What you're finding here is a spring-type coupler. This is the coupler that we use on the Armstrong 2, 3, and 4 Series circulator. However, in the 5 Series circulator, we use this style of coupler, or the flexible coupler. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is remove the other half of the coupler with my 1 8 inch hex key. And that's free, we'll set that aside for later. At this point, we're going to go ahead and remove our bearing assembly from the volute. And we do that with our 5 8 inch wrench. Once the last bolt has been removed, we can pull the seal bearing assembly free from the volute. Inside you'll find a gasket. This gasket may or may not need to be scraped off depending on how long it's been inside that volute. I want to show you how easy it is to get this bearing module out of the bearing assembly. It's literally four Phillips head screws. And as I continue to mention, when you reassemble this, you may want to use some anti-seize. It's 
to avoid damaging the assembly. After I've removed the last screw, I'll be able to take the backing plate off easily. And all you have to do is push the assembly through. And I just did this with my hand. You may have to tap it with a mallet or something, but it comes out very simply. Typically when you remove a bearing module from a sealed bearing assembly, what you'll be removing is the, the sleeve type bearing. And that requires lubrication. However, you do have the option to upgrade to the maintenance-free version, which has permanently lubricated ball bearings. When it first arrives, it's gonna come in a package that looks about like this. Gently unwrap it and discard the wax paper. There are these components here that make up the seal, the stationary, the rotating, and of course, the spring for loading. It's really important here not to touch these seal face surfaces with your bare hands. So I've got a clean rag over here, and what I'm gonna do, insert this seal cup into the bearing assembly housing itself, and you need to use a suitable lubricant for that. And then I'm going to press the stationary side of the seal in. At this point, we can take the rotating element, slide it over the shaft as well. Again, some lubricant may be, may be necessary. And we'll add the spring. I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the impeller at this time, lining it up with the key. You may have a one-piece impeller. This happens to be a two-piece impeller. And spin the impeller knot on hand tight. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a good snugging with a ratchet. Now it's time to go ahead and install the seal bearing assembly into the volute housing. And that should snug right up and make a good contact with that washer. We'll go ahead and put the bolts back in. And just snug those bolts up real good once you get them in there finger tight. Because this is a potential leak path. I like to use a crisscross pattern because we are sealing a flange. And now we're ready for the spring coupler. So we need our 1 8 inch hex key and we need our coupler. Now you'll notice that there is a dimple on the shaft on the seal bearing assembly. And we need to make sure that this set screw lines up with that and drops into the dimple when we install it. A little trick here is to index that dimple with one of the vent holes in the seal bearing assembly. Because if you don't, you're gonna have to spin it later. And it's in there. The only thing left to do is to reinstall the motor on the back end of the bearing assembly. And congratulations, you have just installed an Armstrong maintenance-free bearing assembly on an Armstrong circulator, and you will get many years of trouble-free service.